Jump scares. Scary. Gore. Strobe lights. Blood. Hello. Why is your camera furry? Is it a microphone? Hello, you're on YouTube. Hello, Hello YouTube. Hello. You're on YouTube. <laughs> camera. We tell you. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to another Hayati channel vlog. Today we are visiting our final and second Halloween event of this year. I hope you guys enjoyed Screamland in mazes that we brought to you. We had a blast on that. Today we are visiting one of the most famous Halloween scare attraction which is called Shocktober which is in Tulis Farm located in Crawley and uh, unfortunately we missed the press night the to attend the preview night so which means we can't film any of the uh, inside the mazes which means usually you know when it comes to reviewing of mazes it's really hard to kind of talk on the camera and describe what happened inside i like to just show you what's the date today 30th. the 30th of october just one day before halloween shocktober has been rated as one of the best scare attractions in europe that's what a lot of people tell me i don't know about that i've never been there it's my first time but i'm very excited to give it a try and kind of review it for you and compare this experience with our other halloween event uh, experience now the ticket were kind of pricey now the operation times are 5 p.m till all the way till midnight they have a street theater where they have roaming actors entertainment there's about 10 mazes some of the mazes that are the highest and scare factors they're usually rated by numbers so the highest scare factors which are nine about five of them some of them are eight some of them are seven and i believe some of them are six we have no idea how it's gonna be what's gonna happen i'm shooting this intro while i'm at home let's go closest train station is three bridges from there we took a taxi about 10 minutes charged us about 10 pounds nine ten pounds so i'm not sure if you can see but this is the queue we're waiting in the queue and we're towards the front of the queue but the queue is going all the way back for miles and there's more and more people arriving every minute Here we go guys, it's really busy. We just entered Tulis Farm right now. We can't really talk much because we really want to get on the right on the mazes because there's a massive queue behind us. So let's go. Here's a ticket. Oh that was the map she gave me. They stamp your hands. So on the board, just like theme parks, oh it's gone. You could actually see the queue time, but that's unfortunately gone now. So just entered the park and don't really know where we need to go so uh, just randomly seeing what's available Coven of 13 I've really had good stuff about this one village Coven of 13 a really impressive I have to say setup there was a fire the woods really looked like we're inside a film actually all of these mazes give you that impression that we are inside a film came up of Coven very impressive so you have to go for an airbag and then you have uh, basically uh, like a laser green laser and then all of these witches they come out and jump on you obviously you can't really recollect all the information right now because I'm in a hurry at the same time I have to move but that was really impressive hello 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 you're on YouTube am I yep hello YouTube <laughs> hello hello bye 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 
look at this uh, dancing zombie the suitcase hello uh, hello oh uh, there. Yeah. 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 what's in the suitcase this is a suitcase what is this not a suitcase Oh, briefcase. Can Sorry, my bad. She's dragging you away. <laughs> yeah, she's dragging me away. <laughs> what are you doing now? That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be your friend. Yeah. Okay, you're grabbing onto it. Well, I'm a human not... shield. Yeah, it's not a shield. It. It's a person. Exactly. It's got feelings. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so our next maze of the night will be Wasteland. Penny, how do you pronounce that word? Penny Chanchuri, and I've heard really good stuff about it. You're on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god, I actually thought he was gonna hit me. That was so scary. Wow, so we just came out from Wasteland Penitentiary, and what could I say? That has to be 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. That was so impressive. It's not much of a fear factor, but everything went so well. The strobe lights definitely gets 9 out of 10. That was properly scary. That was really impressive. It's even, I would say, better than the coven. Definitely um, better than the coven. The problem is, obviously, when we can't film and show you, it's really hard to explain what goes inside. So many flashing Probably lights in there, though. You, so many flashing lights. Flashing so lights. It's basically based on like an American style prison. Yeah. Look at these uh, Roman characters over there. So they're all in orange jumpsuits. Yeah, I don't that's, know if you can see that from here. And it really gives yeah, you that orange jumpsuits and these, they're all like hardened guys criminals. Are just criminals. Yeah. That, that, that is the vibe that I got. to chop shop you're talk about every single thing later on i'm gonna give this 10 out of 10 for scare factor definitely and 9 or 8 for the rest of the staff story the acting was really good all of the actors was good but yeah. if you really want to get the scared the hell out chop shop is the one he actually got me with the chainsaw he yeah. didn't physically touch you though that's the yeah literally the chainsaw was on my side and i was like yeah. oh my god it's gonna yeah. cut me in half so just want to quickly show you this is the ticket where they every time you go in they ticket also just to let you know they don't they just put an audio where they tell you the do's and don'ts in a really nice theme creepy voice yeah rather so than there telling is not you, and yeah rather than telling you what to do we have sofa done chop shop coven and uh, wasteland penitentiary, penitentiary. <laughs> Camera, um, camera. Yeah. Better not be using that in the mazes. No, it's, it's just for roaming actors like yourself. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> We came out from uh, the cellar. I'm so petrified, I can't even think of the name. 
cellar. It was very dark indoors. The actors was really good, but eventually the novelty wears out, I would say. But see, the thing about being scared is really subjective. It really depends where you are, which location. Because yeah. they don't come every single second at you. They come in uh, whenever they feel like it. It was really good overall. What did you think? Yeah, overall really good. <laughs> So the next maze, creepy cottage. The scare factor on that is six out of ten. So I think it's probably the lowest. Oh my god! Creepy cottage. Was it creepy? Hell yeah, it was creepy. It was. Last portion was scary when they suddenly jump out from nowhere. Yeah. Uh, as always, all of these mazes, well done for the theming. Theming, backstory, all of them are really good. I have to mention though, you could hurt yourself. You have to be really careful because it's really yeah. dark, you can't really see where you're going and suddenly you can hit yourself to a wood or something. A creepy cottage, the scare factor is supposed to be what, six? Six. But I would say it's higher than that. Impressive. I would, I would that, say definitely. it's seven or eight. Yeah. yeah. You have to go on the hayride. I don't care who you are. One thing I have to mention is not family friendly. Hayride was. I was thinking, oh great, we're getting on this weird like tractor trailer thing, and they're just going to drive us round and show us and talk about the history and blah blah blah, and we're bored to death. But very surprisingly, that was not what happened. Um, we got on there, went on the trailer, and you have actors come on board the trailer to scare you. Different, lots of different actors. There's whole different scene settings. You've got Dracula, you've got um, nuns, you've got like all sorts of different things, and, all movie related. And they actually, the actors come inside the truck, you know, touching you right next to you. You know, yeah. giving attention to every single very, customer, which is awesome. Not very family friendly comments. The next maze is this one, the Reckoning. Reckoning was on the ship. Yes, that was a fantastic one. Oh, um, oh. That gets really high in, for me. I think it was a good nine or 10 out of 10, to be honest. Um, it, was it was a really long maze and it was perfectly themed. Like they could not have possibly done anything to improve the theming. It was so amazing. Do you know what I thought? I thought because they have already impressed me two, three times, the rest of the maze are not gonna be all that, but you know what? They impressed me maze after maze after maze after maze after. He well was done. Amazed. Amazed. Well done to uh, Tuli's farm. And the maze itself is really long, but you don't get bored. Yeah. I'm not going to go into details explaining everything because 
I can't recollect them, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I would definitely, I would uh, nine or ten out of ten for that. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Of course. Why is your camera furry? Sorry. Why is your camera furry? So I can hear you properly. Oh, is it a microphone? Glass. Yeah, it stops. Stops the wind. Oh, the. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has that made it worse or just that stop that? No, no, it stops that anyway. You come in here. Fancy technology That's from the future. future. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, why wins it? It's right, we get in this photo then. Modern day yeah. age. Oh. So we just came out from Vixie. The way you do, you're supposed to hold someone with one hand and the rope with the other hand. The only problem is what if you don't feel comfortable? What if the person... Oh, sorry. Hello. What if the person you're holding is not there or something? I don't really like that. And I'm not a big fan of wearing a hood for an extended period of time. But I it was really bad because there were like steps and things like yeah, as in yeah, going yeah. down and, and you and it's obviously dangerous. couldn't... Pretty much most of the mazes you have to be quite no, careful where you go in. But the last portion was really good how they suddenly surprised you. This maze also by the way has fire effects as well. The first few portions, to be honest, I found it quite boring. Only the last portion was nice. So I'm gonna give this a 4 or 5 out of 10. What about yourself? Yeah, I would say probably about 5. This is the last maze, not a maze, it's actually a show. Circus of Horrors. The Circus of Horrors. Implements of torture, the electric chair. I require your assistance from the hunt, the two volunteers, but more specifically, a beautiful lady and beautiful man. Lessons and lights! Oh, yeah! Give them a round of applause! Take a photo. This is called 
stream. I'm not sure what they're doing there. You have the extreme, you have this joker and you have the bungee on the left hand side. This is Joker. We have the reverse bungee over there that doesn't seem to be working. Hello. This has to be by far the best Halloween event. I have not done obviously too many of them. I've done Fright Night, Halloween in Chessington, Screamland. This one has to be my favorite. I just can't believe how impressive it was. Don't talk with your mouth when it's disgusting. I'm acting. I'm inside the maze. I'm acting. You're on a train so yes. the maze. Obviously we couldn't film inside the maze so it's really hard to kind of tell you how good it is and what was what went inside they do different packages we got extreme pass which is for 39 pounds by a fluctuate so do check their website out I wouldn't say these are all family friendly they do say it's not for anyone under the age of 12 anyone under 15 has to be accompanied by an adult but I've seen many kids going in anyway there are a couple of flat rides fun fair rides and yeah there's plenty of food around it kind of reminds me of london winter wonderland for some reason some of these uh, mazes you can't see anything at all and uh, that's actually wonderful but you just have to be careful not to hurt yourself a lot of them have airbags really tight airbags smoke <coughs> strobe lights obviously and other types of smell also and other types of uh, special effects my favorite uh, attraction was hayride and the chop shop but every single one of the mazes are were really well done for what it is again these mazes are not for everyone that's why they keep repeating if you're claustrophobic if you suffer from certain things like weak faint-hearted then you're gonna have a really hard time overall I'm really impressed it's not the perfect event but it's really really good I'll have to give this event a very good 9 or 10 out of 10 do subscribe guys to our channel like it and check out other videos that we have done